In this video, we're going to look at the relationship between decimals and fractions when we're naming decimals that go to the tenths place. So if we look at our first example, we have the decimal number four tenths. And here's a decimal model that shows tenths. We have one whole square that's split into ten equal parts. So if I was going to show four tenths, I would color in four of the tenths. So four of the ten parts. So one, two, three, four. So I've shaded in four tenths. So we can write that decimal in word form. Anytime that we are describing part of a whole, we can also show that number using a fraction. So we always have a fraction that we can use to name our decimal. So we have four tenths, or four out of ten. So to write that as a fraction, we're going to write four as our numerator and 10 as our denominator. So we have the decimal, 4 tenths, the word form, 4 tenths, the fraction, 4 tenths, and our model, our picture, 4 tenths. All of these are different ways to represent the same number. Okay, let's look at another number. This one is 6 tenths. So I've got my decimal number in standard form, Here's my picture. Again, I have one whole divided into ten equal parts. So we want to shade in six of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've shaded in our picture to show six tenths. We can write that number in word form. Six tenths. So to write it as a fraction, our numerator is how many parts are shaded, or the number that's in our tenths place. So the numerator is 6. Our denominator is how many parts we've divided our whole into. So here in this picture, our whole is divided into 10 parts. So we would read that 6 tenths. So notice that we read our decimal number and our fraction the same way. So the word form is the same for both the decimal and the fraction. On this one, we have the number 1 and 2 tenths. So our decimal is 1 and 2 tenths. So if we think about what that means, our whole number, the whole number in our ones place that comes before the decimal point, tells us how many of the whole shape we're talking about, how many holes we have. So we have one whole square colored in. So the whole thing, all 10. So 10 out of 10 is the whole thing. So we have one whole and, our decimal point tells us say and, two tenths. So one whole and two tenths of another whole. So if we think about how we would write that in word form, we would say one, and two tenths. So if we want to write this number as a fraction, our whole number goes in front of our fraction. So we have one whole, so that comes first. Everything that comes after the decimal point is our fraction. So we have one and two tenths, so one whole and then our fraction is two tenths. So that shows this one. So our one whole is our top shape that's colored all the way in, and two tenths is the one that just has part of it colored in. 